Okay, folks, today I want to talk to you about we uh, had done a couple of jobs over the last couple of days. I have some filter dryers here. I want to talk about, first, how long has filter dryers been around? I found this very interesting. I thought it was in the 70s myself personally, but December the 21st, 1982, the first U.S. patent was put out for the filter dryers by a couple of gentlemen named John P. Clark and Ernest W. Schumacher, both of DeSoto, Texas. And they sold the patent, obviously, to Virginia Chemical in Portsmouth, Virginia. This, this whole patent, I didn't print it all up, but it's like 20-some pages long. And what happened, it, it, the invention had come from derive of a problem because as people were putting in AC systems in the 60s and 70s, having lots of failures, they were coming up with acid in the lines, non-condensables in the lines because, you know, when you take your gauges on and off, they were having all kinds of formaric acid type situations. But here's what become of that patent. This is a one-way filter dryer. One way, I want to show you this is the inlet, this is the arrow, and this is the out part of the filter dryer. Here's the interesting thing. I want to show you the bi-flow filter dryer. This is an engineering marvel right here. Okay? See how the arrow goes both directions? Okay, now this is a, just an 8 cubic inch filter dryer, but I want to show you. As the refrigerant comes through this filter dryer, it has a screen here, and it actually has a spring that you can't see, and I'm, I'm sorry, but we actually lost the spring as we cut into it, and I'll show you right here. See how this little spring right here works? See this right here? See that spring very closely right there? It's the same thing on this end. We'll just do this in. But as the refrigerant comes through the filter dryer, it opens this up. The refrigerant goes around the filter dryer itself. It goes through a screen here. I want to point out these screens. Here's where the large contaminant parts may catch in first. As this blocks the larger parts, then it goes through another screen. Very fine screen here. It goes through the core. It goes. It goes uh, out this screen here. Then, it, then this is pushed open, and the refrigerant goes out. And this is uh, also what we call a molecular sieve. Okay. If you have any questions about how a filter dryer works. Give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Thank you.